Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Strife. We're back with another video. I told you guys, man, we're gonna keep this content rolling. We're not going nowhere. But listen, I'm trying to do I'm gonna try to do, do something a little bit not necessarily different, but just I think different for this channel. I'm gonna kind of round up the news that we've heard thus far, um, sparking zero wise, and just kind of summarize it in one video. So think of this as like week week one news or, or updates regarding sparking zero so all, all things you know updates dlc patches that's all going to be covered as well as the content the fun the fun and the funny stuff if that makes sense so yes you've probably seen the title you know dlc updates and day one patch so essentially we've already kind of been given a timeline of what we expect to see with the DLCs season in the coming quarter so in, in q1 and q i think just q1 so you'll see a screenshot shortly um we've basically been shown a small roadmap of what we're expecting to see with, with our dlc so you guys will definitely be able to see the screen now so it's dlc one to be released around q1 2025 so that could be probably probably i'd say probably after new year's you know contains playable characters from the dragon ball super superhero movie so characters so emphasis on that so that could be multiple characters it could probably be gamma one gamma two maybe orange piccolo and gohan beast in one dlc because they've given us actually all the way to q2 worth of you know updates if that if that makes sense so we've got dlc one in q1 2025 dlc two in q1 2025 so two two sets of dlcs in one quarter so we can definitely assume that the first dlc will come out at the very start of the year probably after new year's where we get gamma one gamma two orange piccolo maybe or maybe piccolo potential unleashed that transforms into orange piccolo and then gohan beast or or maybe superhero gohan with gohan beast um because he his you know he he does ten, te technically have a different form and stuff so it would make sense for it to be that way unless they make the beast form a whole different character set rather than like a trans something that you transform into like most most transformations in the game I think it'd probably be another version of Gohan, maybe Gohan Superhero, that, or maybe Gohan Super if there isn't one already, and then you would transform into Beast from there, maybe that could be something that would make sense. So, so that's so that's DLC one. So we got DLC two, contains playable characters from the Dragon Ball Daimo series. Now we just got the first episode, more or less, less than twenty four hours ago. Um, I don't really see who the who the character could be based off what we've seen so far, unless it's just mini versions of the regular, you know, the Z the Z fighters. When it comes to villains, we haven't really been shown who the main villain can really be besides that little demon king. But we don't—I don't really want him as a character. If I'm being honest, I, I wouldn't mind those giant robot-looking things. That'd be cool. But we don't really have no insight on that. But the Daima—the Daima content is to be released. So there's gonna be two sets of of Daima DLC. So DLC two, which is in Q1, and then DLC three, which is in Q2. So hopefully it'll be—you know—it'll be—it'll be a good amount of characters um and you know for this current season pass i don't know if they intend to make another season pass after this one you know oh not to mention cell max cell max could also be another character in dlc one so i'm just looking at the tweet now and like people are kind of talking on the like in a in little we're basically replying to the to the thread and people are saying gamma one gamma two pan from superhero which is interesting cell max trunks oh yeah trunks trunks from superhero goten from superhero because they're a little bit older and then fat go tanks which is interesting but i don't think we're gonna get that many characters in one dlc because it's literally only one line like they've only put dlc one to be in giant like in the, in the first queue of 2025 so i don't think that we're gonna get that many characters in one dlc i'd highly doubt it i think it's gonna be gamma one gamma two cell max gohan and, and piccolo if i'm keeping it a buck you know but let's see that would be that would be cool but I, I i doubt it i doubt it but um so yeah that's pretty much the main updates when it comes to the dlc um, now there's some more news regarding just some things that have been floating around um, when it comes to day one patches. I think we are expecting a day one patch, although I mean day one is technically passed. We're expecting a day one patch sometime this week. Um, I don't think that's been confirmed. This is just kind of rumors that I've seen just kind of flo floating around Twitter where, you know, maybe some things might get addressed because as much as the game is perfect and, you, you know, the best, best game, definitely some things that should be addressed. And I think, you know, I think that's that's going to be the, the case. But I've also seen another tweet where we see that apparently there's going to be, which you'll probably see on screen now, a penalty for, for you know, de like in like leaving a match, basically leaving a rank match. If you do it in an in a, in a, in a X amount of times, you could be suspended from the game, which you know what? I hear it because 
you know, some people, I've only seen one rage quit in my time of playing uh, Sparking Zero Ranked, which is the first video I made on Sparking Zero where someone rage quitted using Ultra Instinct as well. So I don't know if this is, if this is too harsh. Pl penalties will be gradually lifted by completing matches normally. So it, 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 I don't, I don't know. I haven't really seen a large case of people leaving yet. Unless it's something that the community are all asking for, then, you know, it would make, it would make sense. If that's the case but if not i don't think they need to enforce this just yet in my opinion but let's see let's see let's see how it goes but so that's really that i don't think we, we we haven't seen anything else besides like anything regarding the day one patch i think that's like all that we've seen but there is one more news for people that have been asking for this so this is again a, a potential speculation or, or or a leak so to speak so gohan's outfit from bojack unbound modders have found it in the sparking zero game files you know how these modders are man they'll find anything so i'll put a picture of the i don't know if this is literally i don't know if this is how the outfit looks in game i i, I guess so so i'm gonna put a screenshot on and on the screen and you can see it and i am so happy that they included that detail because i can't like that movie was sick and that outfit looks cold on gohan on team gohan so i think that would be something that's that's quite cool to see you know i think that would be that would be sick so you know they they got they got at that end like it wouldn't make sense for that not to be added in you know so yeah i hope you know this video was informative and in kind of just seeing the updates of what's to come um you know either this week or just in general with you know sparking zero and sparking zero content i hope this is something that you guys enjoy and like to see again just keep supporting me like it helps a lot you know the just drop likes drop comments interact you know and subscribe most of, uh, most importantly obviously this channel's fairly new like in terms of i had it for two years but i've only just started really pushing content on it so we need to get this algorithm to understand that we're sparking zero that like this channel here is sparking zero and this is all i've really been doing i ain't really been like on my main like that so this is like the main this is like my main for for, for a while so yeah definitely subscribe definitely like and then I, I also stream on twitch which is down below and then and then on tiktok as well occasionally so yeah man definitely definitely you know lock in we're definitely gonna be active obviously now in these kind of informative videos you're gonna see a bit of my professional my professional side but when i'm playing ranked bro listen <laughs> the slang comes out you get me <laughs> like we don't play games bro. you feel me but um but yeah nah but that's pretty much all the updates that i have again every time i see an update you know i'm gonna be there to to cover it you know whether it's even the smallest of details like even you know even just the the gohan outfit that's something so small but i feel like it's worth adding into this video hence why i feel like at the end of the week i might just do these videos like rounding up everything that we've heard so far because look if it wasn't for content i wouldn't know about any of this until they actually until these things come out so i feel like it's good to have someone that kind of just rounds everything up and just summarizes it all so yeah man but aside from that guys it's been real i appreciate you guys i'll catch you guys in the next video man peace